So you've finally got your villager breeder all set up, you have their collection system, everything's perfect, right? But you're wondering, how can I dispose of my villagers without losing popularity and making the prices go up? I've got the perfect thing for you. So you're collecting your villagers, everything's great. Have them in a little holding cell, right? You decide whether you like this villager or not. So if you do like it, you uh, flick the lever right here and off they go to happy worlds. But uh, what if you don't like that villager? And, uh, you want to dispose of him right then and there, but without getting your hands dirty, you know? You just, you want him to just go away. Well, I've got you covered. So you're going to start by digging a 4x3 hole in the ground that is at least 28 blocks deep. 30 is probably better. Then at the very bottom of that, you can always add a ladder in for yourself to, to pick up all your goodies from the chest. But what you're going to do is you're going to line the whole bottom with hoppers and just make sure that they are going into the chest. Now, we come back up to the top here. And you'll see there's a very delicate process. First, you're going to want to get a zombie in here. Right here. Pretty simple. Just name him. Just get him trapped in there. No problem. And now, to get the chamber ready, you're going to want a piece of powered rail, two, three pieces of powered rail that go up like this and then slant into it. One block in. And then... This is where it gets fun. All of these are very sensitive, so you cannot make a mistake. But I promise you, it works super well. So you can get some trap doors, and you're going to put two of them right here. There and there. Then you can get some more trap doors, and they're going to go down below one more. Like this. And then you're going to get two more trap doors, and they're going to go right there. Pretty simple, right? So now you're going to take some rail, and you're going to put the rail like this, and then like this, and then like this. And then you're going to very carefully go underneath and close all of the trap doors. Then what you're going to do is, on this block right here, you're going to put some sand cactus and some more sand on top of that cactus that's that's just how I do it you don't have to do it that way but that's how I do it that's gonna break the minecart and if you want to you can remove all of these as well just so that there's no way that the minecart could ever be lost but I'm not bothered by it myself but it's very simple once those trapdoors are open then the rail is just floating there so when the minecart breaks the villager will be stuck on the rail, but it's going to see the zombie and run. And as soon as that villager runs, it falls. I'll give you another demonstration here. Just like that. It works every time. Now, sometimes you will get an issue where a minecart gets stuck here, but for the most part, it's never that much of, an, of a problem. It's a foolproof system. And it is 100% reliable every time. Just like that. One more time. There he goes. I'm Shelly, and I really hope you liked this tutorial. Have a great day.